Welcome new viewers and welcome back subscribers. This is Perfectly Imperfect Gardening with Tanya. Guys, before I had got sick, I had ordered some flowers, flower by mail. And I want to do a haul video for you guys. So before they came in, I had started getting sick. I thought I just had the flu or a cold and it was just going to brush over. But when I realized I was getting worse, 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 and it's not the exact same feeling as the flu because I had very bad fatigue. I'm finna walk out the door because I'm heading out the door. I had very bad fatigue. I mean, where I feel like I was carrying around 25 10-pound babies up a hill trying to get to my destination. That's the kind of fatigue I had. I had very bad joint pain, not just regular joint pain like arthritis because I have a little arthritis in my knees. So I didn't take it as like a regular arthritis. I'm thinking about arthritis that when people got to go and get their joints changed because it's giving them so much problems. I'm talking about that type of arthritis joint pain and it was horrible. So I went and got tested, guys, and it came back positive for the thing that's worse than the flu. Came back positive. And during that time, as I was trying to get better, that's when the flowers start coming in, coming in. I was like, oh, goodness. Now, I can't leave these flowers in the box. And I don't want nobody else to open them because I want to be able to do a video haul for you guys. That's the whole point of me even getting the flowers because I want to share and enjoy it with you. So I had to put on my big girl panties. Get up, get out there, open up no flowers in order to share them with you guys so that I could be able to the tours so y'all could see them mature into their best them. So... Now, I want to show you guys how they are looking, how they're doing, and where I place them out in the yard. So I can bring in more beauty and more color. Because, you know, color bring in moods. That color is what have people stopping, slowing down, taking pictures, and bring more inter interest into your yard. Bring more pollinators bring more just beauty all around and then you have that good feeling like certain colors set certain moods like restaurants use color schemes gardens use color schemes your house use color schemes and color is different to everybody i see color different probably than you see color like i could see a blue and could make it look like valid, like a purple to me. But it can look blue, blue, blue to you, you know? So it's sort of, kind of, y'all get what I'm saying. Color is a lot, and it means a lot. Especially when it comes to emotion and enjoyment. So that's the reason why I wanted to get these flowers. And I did that. I'm fixing to some projects on here that I'm finna work on. But everything is looking so nice. It rained last night. So my flower boxes are blooming and smelling so good. And everything out there blooming in a hole like it's pumped guys the birds love the water and when if they have water they don't mess with your tomatoes and stuff too much because that's what they're really picking at them for is because they thirsty so I have so many birds that c comes and visit this water feature just want to show you guys how important it is for you to have some sort of water feature, bowl of water or something for the birds. But let me show you guys where I put everything. Got my whole point of getting 
more flowers was well, so I can bring some more color some more beauty into the yard so that's the reason why I got all this beautiful colored stuff I got a project that I'm gonna work on with these flowers if you could see them back here yep <clears throat> So let's get to our first. This is all the flowers we got. The Christmas Carol Camellia. Then we have the Azalea here. The Autumn Belly Azalea. Here, the limelight, which came from another place, and then we have the Viridium Chinese Snowball, Chinese Snowball Viridium, and right here we have the Camellia Leslie Ann. This one right here is the Camellia, the Leslie Ann. I put her right here by my front gate. And then I have this one right here. The Christmas Carol. It's sitting right here. I'm going down the line of my front gate. Now take a look at how beautiful this hibiscus is. Beautiful pink hibiscus. Then I have my mulberry tree right here. It's waking back up. It was dormant, it's waking back up. And I have some irises here. This the African irises right here. And this one here, but it's the walking, the walking iris right here. And the reason why they call it the walking iris, it get its flower bud, which is like this. And then once the flower bud bloom, it have a pup, an offshoot that come up and it weighs it down and it hits the ground and it start and it roots and start a whole new plant. So it walks its way around your yard or your garden. So that's how that works. Got water for the birds right here. This is my side yard that I'm still working on. My tinky man. Okay, this was the hot stranger that came. Y'all see it waking up? She's waking up. Good morning, sweetheart. Did you sleep good? That's her. She should look like should look like that when she wakes all the way up. She's the limelight hydrangea. This one right here don't look that good. It had blooms on it when I got it. Now the blooms are dying. I don't know what's gonna happen next to it, but the blooms. So that's with that one. I have one more over here. I have to still mulch this, but this right here is the um is the gardenia. It's a star gardenia, I think it was called. here. 
the diamond spear gardenia put it right there and this one here is also waking up I got this right here one even though it don't have the sign on it I think that's the limelight the limelight hydrangea so guys you can see they pretty much doing good except this one I don't know what's gonna go on with that one so hopefully it wakes up it just had these blooms on it so I'm hoping it wake up like these ones did Well, hydrangeas are not supposed to grow in my area, but I tried it with this other hydrangea. I'm going to take you to in this backyard, all the way on the farther back. The um, hydrangea that I had got here is doing so well that I decided I'm going to try a couple other ones. So. That's the reason why I'm trying these hydrangeas. If it don't work out, I knew it's a possibility. But if I sit there and try to wait on everything and do everything I think is perfect, I'm never going to get anywhere because nothing is ever perfect. So I'd rather try stuff and it might work out and it might not. It might be imperfect, but at least I'm getting something out of it, you know, than nothing. So let's see this. Here she is, guys. Isn't she beautiful? She's still getting buds and still growing. Strawberry time here. Strawberries are growing quite well over here. I've been picking them off and they've been very sweet and delicious. These big old juicy he shots. Sweet and juicy. Mm. Mm. Just a little treat to get me through the day. Guys, let me show you guys my newest purchase. Check her out. She's a saucer Mongolia. Yes. And see these? They feel like a little fuzz on them, like a fuzz ball. And they actually get their flowers before they get their their foliage. And it's so beautiful. You see if they got a picture right here. They go a picture. How beautiful that is. And it could be kept as a scrub, a tall, or a small tree. And it should go good with this Buca Villa that took over this wall over here. So I set it right Y'all check this tree out. This tree here is called the orchid tree because the flowers look and remind you of orchids look how beautiful that is make some ready to bloom gorgeous 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 flowers Beautiful. 
beautiful standalone flowers. And it's going to be a tree, so it's going to be full of these flowers one day. Y'all know how in all my videos I be bragging that we don't get any frost here. Like, I don't get any frost, so I can grow stuff anytime, whenever I want here in Florida where I am. I don't get no frost. <sighs> they say never say never, because it got down to 32 degrees here where I am at in Florida. I did not see it coming. And now, look y'all, my fruit trees. Like this lemon tree. Look here, my fruit tree turned yellow. The leaves falling off now and stuff. Losing all the leaves. Some of them trying to stay green, but they got hit. This is a, a Persian line. That's a Meyer lemon. Maya Lemon Persian Lime. They did not like that cold, cold air. This is a Valencia orange. It's still holding its flowers. So hopefully I get some of those, but I don't know. I have some hibiscus that's still hanging on super good, but some got damaged. This right here is another gardenia I got when it was very small. And now she's huge. She should be getting buds very flowers very soon. Nice, fresh, fragrant, loud, fragrant flowers be all over. I love this bush here because gardenias, as I said, it's one of my favorite fragrant flower for the smells. But my favorite flowers are actually hibiscus. Hibiscus and roses are my favorite flowers. God, look, they come, oh, not done. They come in all different colors. They got red. This one have three colors on it. Red, pink. It had got a little damage from the cold. I mean, they were super green. Then the next day, everything was turning yellow. The bees love this. Got a papaya there. That's where I put those other clearance flowers. Right down around there. My roses. Roses, I love them because you have all different colors. You can have pink roses, and then you have, I had got these um, hibiscus on sale for $7 at Lowe's. It was $7 or $14 at Lowe's. These beautiful roses. So I mix my two favorite flowers together, the hibiscus and the roses. This is a strawberry plant that I got on clearance also when I um, got the hibiscus. So I just put it there too. Never heard of it, but it's supposed to have these beautiful strawberry colored flowers. I thought it was neat, so I, so I, um, Got a couple of this one here and one over there. So when they grow in, guys, it should give me a flower show, hopefully. Now check out these, these big, beautiful blooms on that hydrangea. I mean, not hydrangea, I'm sorry, hibiscus. So pretty. I'm gonna go through all my hibiscus this one day and show you the different types once they grow up a little bit. Because they're all different kind of hibiscus, all different kind of roses. Look at this type of rose. Look at that. It's like one level, but it has a light and a dark red contrast. 
Isn't that just so pretty? My daughter bought me these ones for my birthday. So I have those back there. And that's another, those right there did not like that frost. Look, they are all yellow. They did not like it. Okay guys, these are the azalea I had got, the pink one. And she is still popping out flowers. The young core azalea, the Annabella, Annabella. And I stuck her right here. I'm still doing this. Still got to finish mulching this. I had stopped these, my blueberries. The weed whacker was getting to them, so I had to put something behind it. I found this azalea here on clearance at Lowe's for only six dollars, and I paid thirty something dollars for this one online. So I bought, you know, I bought a few of those. They a lot smaller, but they. I think they take like seven years to get to their fullest potential. To the to their maturity, I think it take them like seven years to get to maturity. So these gonna be a good good size for a long time. That's why I was sick. I lost a couple things because of powdery mildew. And it's the things that I was looking the most forward to trying. Look, the millions powdery mildew I guess because when I water I always take these plants down here I take them down so the water won't sit with our humidity on the plants I run down on them I like to, to water from the root but since I was sick someone else was taking care of it for me and I don't think these one three two million is gonna make it I don't think and I know these isn't gonna make it but other than that as you can see everything looks beautiful oh and these did not like the freeze either they burnt up but that's okay Look like they getting new leaves. It's getting new leaves already. So I'm gonna see if they're gonna grow out. If not, I just start it over. I'll pop my backup baskets right here. Go on the side. I'm gonna take these ones out, put those ones in, and we'll keep going from there. I let everything is flowering. The bees love it. And when they want cilantro flour, it's still delicious. You don't get no bitter or anything to me in the part down here. But look at that. The basil flowering. But the bees love it. So I'm gonna leave it. My flat head uh, parsley. My curly parsley. This cilantro is what going crazy here. We have thyme. We have these jalapenos coming on here. I don't have any peppers growing inside of here. I haven't been looking. Still a lot of flowers. I see they starting. Look like they would dry it out. Something going on here, guys. Look at that. From that frost. It got frost damage too. It was so cold. Yeah. They don't like the frost. So that was very surprising to me. I wonder how those bees are doing. I don't go up in here hardly. Since these bees been up in here. But the bees. 
still there. They went from one cone, I was like one, two, three, four cones. They're very docile. They don't mess with you. I guess unless you go and really mess with them. But I got to clean all this out now. Cause look at this, guys. They clean it all out. That's the frost, which I never experienced before, especially as a gardener. Got me, y'all. That and powdery mildew. Other than that, everything else look good and doing good. I'll do a garden tour soon. I'll be doing a garden tour soon. I just want to show you. Oh, look what I just seen. Guys, this is my Camellia Japonica plant. It like the shade, that's why I have it up. Right, where is that? Right here. They are full of blooms. Look how beautiful little. My daughter bought me this for my birthday this year in December. But they are starting to bloom out. Look at that. Can't wait for them all to open. So I can see all the beauty it possesses inside. <laughs> yes. Well, yes, guys, the bees are still over there. They ain't got no cover or nothing. Just chilling. I'm figure it out, y'all. I'm gonna do it. Right, Mr. Froggy? Do you like the bees? Are they bothering you over there? Are they messing with you? Are you just good? I think he good, y'all. I think he good. You remember the passion fruit video I did? Check out the passion fruit now. In that little time, look how big it done grew. All the way up. It's almost up to the top. Already. Already, guys. Guys, thank you so much for staying to the end of this update video. I appreciate you and your time. Please take the time to hit this like, subscribe, and bell button so that you can be able to get all the videos as they come out. So, guys, I'm gonna see you later. Peace.